Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The Lost Rocase is a sparse, flashy little baitfish pattern that has proven itself remarkably effective at attracting numerous saltwater fish species. The fact that it's fairly easy and quick to tie makes it attractive to fly tires as well. The Los Roques starts with a short shank size 4 hook. It's very important that the hook be well secured in the jaws of your tying vise as a fair bit of thread tension is required to properly anchor the fly's materials. Load a bobbin with a spool of 6-0 white thread. Get the thread started on the hook shank and after a dozen or so rearward wraps, snip off the excess tag. Pearl colored angel hair is the first material to be tied in. Snip a small clump free from the hank and measure to form a wing about two full hooks in length. Take nice tight wraps of tying thread to anchor the material to the top of the hook shank at the location of your tying thread. These should be touching wraps that go from back to front. Lift the butt ends of the angel hair up and snip them off at a shallow angle, like so. Continue taking thread wraps to cover these butt ends up all the way to the back of the hook eye. If there are any wayward or overly long fibers, now's a good time to trim them off. Next, do pretty much the same thing with a clump of the silver angel hair placed on top of the pearl. Then, repeat the procedure again with a similar sized clump of gold angel hair. Finally, snip a like-sized clump of green angel hair free from the hank, but this time, first measure to the same length as the other hair, then flip the clump around, and while keeping the measurement, bind the materials to the top of the hook shank with the butt ends pointing rearward. While maintaining your grip on the butt ends, pull them up to vertical and snip them off close. Now, pull the forward pointing portion of the material back, directly over top of the fly and take nice tight thread wraps to bind it down, like so. Once again, if there are any overly long or wayward fibers, trim them off to produce a good looking bait fish shape. Reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well and snip or cut your tying thread free. You should be left with a short head between the back edge of the hook eye and a collar of thread wraps. Pick up a small amount of adhesive, here UV Cure Resin, and apply a little drop to the head area on the near side of the fly. Then, do the same on the far side of the fly. Use your bodkin to pick up one of the 3D eyes and set it into the adhesive on the near side of the fly. It might take some maneuvering to get the eye located correctly. Then, repeat the process on the far side of the fly, doing your best to keep the eyes even. If you're using UV Cure Resin, pick up the UV torch and give the head of the fly an ample bath of UV light. This should set the adhesive and lock the eyes in place. Squeeze out another small amount of your favorite adhesive. Here too I'm using UV Cure Resin. Coat the entire head area, including the thread wraps behind the eyes with the adhesive, before either hitting it with a UV torch or letting it dry on its own. And that's all there is to it. The Los Roques is best fished with short little strips that add movement and flash to the fly. <music>